Hi guys! Good morning! So today, it's actually Monday. I'm going to share to you how I do my laundry for the whole week. I always start loading the washer every Monday. We don't have a dryer in this house. So what happens is I wash our bed covers and pillow covers every after two weeks. But when we first started living together and even when I was still single, I actually wash my bed covers and pillow covers weekly. But it's actually kind of difficult uh, having these bed covers and especially the bed covers and the blankets dried up. And ever since winter started, um, it's also getting more difficult to get out of the house to have everything dried, especially these larger stuff. So I, I decided to have it washed every after two weeks. And right now, it's Monday and it's the second week already uh, of us using this covers. I'm going to remove this later. I have to wash the darker clothes first because we have more darker clothes than lighter ones. So I always start with the darker clothes and then probably I'll give it about two days before I wash again the clothes because I dry the clothes outside. So I'm going to show you where I hang the clothes. This is where I hang the clothes. We have this um, this one. It actually takes a lot of days, probably three days maximum before the clothes are all dried up. And actually, since it's very cold outside and it's always raining now uh, in New Zealand, so it's not completely dried like compared to when there's sun. So, it's difficult washing clothes right now, but I still have to wash the clothes. So, you will be with me every day for the rest of the week so that you'll see how I do my laundry. Now, I'm going to put these dark colored clothes in the laundry. So, as you can see, it's overflowing. What I usually do is, for example, um, for example, for this shirt, I... Turn this shirt inside out before putting this in the washer. And I basically do this for everything else. Like for example, this pants. I also turn this inside out. And and also before you put this in the washer, you should always check the pockets of the pants. So as for these this pants, it doesn't have anything on its pocket. So this one's okay. And make sure that everything is turned inside out and the pockets are all clear so that nothing's going to ruin the clothes. And I'm actually very particular about this step. I always make sure that everything is turned inside out. And since my husband doesn't do this for his clothes, I always do this every time. I always double check everything. This is why I don't want anyone else to do the laundry. And there are also clothes which we actually use a couple times before putting it in the laundry. We just hang it in this side. So for this one, you can see I hang this pajamas on the side of the laundry basket because it, this means that I'm still going to use it. Oopsie. Alright, and then I always go for cotton. 
So I only go for cotton or delicate. So I I use delicate when I'm washing, for example, the towels and the mats. And I always use cotton for our clothes. And then that's it. And then I'm going to set up everything else. And then press play. So it says that it will take 1 hour and 27 minutes for it to be finished. I just basically let the washer run. I will not probably take out the clothes until probably later this evening. So I've already put the dark colored clothes into the washer and right now I'm going to spend the rest of the day cleaning the entire house because I have to change the sheets. And I'm also going to clean outside in especially in the kitchen and in the living room So see you tomorrow guys because tomorrow we'll be washing some new clothes and have a nice day Bye Hi guys, it's almost 6 p.m. and today is Tuesday so yesterday, we already washed our dark colored clothes and right now, I can't wash the other clothes because I want the dark colored ones to be completely dried because I don't have any space left to hang the clothes. So I will be washing these towels. So I wash our towels every week and then probably by tomorrow, I will be loading the light colored clothes it, since it's Tuesday, I'm going to clean our bathroom. And if, if you haven't seen me clean our bathroom yet, then click on the link on the upper right hand corner to see how I clean our bathroom. So this is where I keep our cleaning materials and detergent. For the towels, I'm going to put only one scoop. And I don't use fabric softener for the towels. I think I'm going to add a little more. So one and a half scoop. And usually sometimes what I do just to check because sometimes I forget. I check the label here in the towel. So just to give me a guide on how I should wash them. Warm machine wash separately before use. Do not bleach. Do not use fabric softener. Maybe tumble dried warm, warm iron if required, do not dry clean. So unfortunately for our washer, this washing machine, we don't have hot water. So I'm just going to wash this in cold water and that's okay. I did not use any fabric softener. It's empty and it said that it should be in delicate mode. So I'll put this on delicate. It says here 57 minutes. I'm going to put it on cold. And even though I increase the temperature, it will not work because there's no hot water in this. I will be washing this next week. And that's it. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hi guys. I don't know if you can hear the TV in the background, but I'm watching a movie right now. And it's almost, let me just check the time. I think it's around 3 p.m. So I've already hanged our towels. They're over there, if you can see. The towels are over there. So we only have two towels. And I'm going to pick up the, these dark colored clothes because most of them are already dry. Before I do that, I'm going to start loading the laundry first. I'm going to fold the clothes while I'm watching. Uh, the movie. Okay. 
to put it in cotton mode and cold because we don't have hot water and play. Okay, one hour twenty seven minutes. going to put all the clothes now in our dresser. Anyway, I hope you do have a nice day and see you tomorrow. Bye! Hi guys! So today is Thursday and I don't know if I look terrible right now because I have just put on my face toner. I'm going to wash our um, microfiber cloths. I put everything in this pail. I have here the dish drying mat. I change this every Monday. So as for this one, I'm just going to put one scoop. And I'm not going to use fabric conditioner. So now, I'm going to proceed with my day. I still have a lot of things to do. I just finished eating. I actually woke up late today. I woke up around 4 p.m. and because last night I was too busy editing my grocery haul video and by now probably the video is already up so please do watch it. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Hi guys! So it's Friday today. I woke up around past noon today and I have a lot of things to do for today. Uh, I'm going to pick up the clothes and, and fold them. And then I'm also going to hang <clears throat> the microfiber cloths and the cleaning cloths that I washed yesterday. Because unfortunately, last night, we've got too busy. The last is our floor mats in the bathroom. And sometimes I also include the floor mat in the kitchen. They ask for the linens that I have removed last Monday. So what happens is if we have a schedule to go to the laundromat for to use the dryer, what I usually do is, is I wash the dark colored clothes, the light colored clothes, the towels, and the linens all in the same day because at night that's when we go to the laundromat to use the dryer because we just all put them in one machine. Um. Alright guys, so thank you for joining me in my laundry routine journey. So this is a week-long journey and if you have reached this part of the video, thank you for watching the entire video and I hope that you have learned something from this video if anything or if you have your own laundry routine, please feel free to share your own laundry, laundry routine down below. I know we all have different system in washing our clothes and that's it. Thank you guys for watching the video. And if you have other video suggestions for me, you can always comment your suggestions down below. Don't forget to hit like and turn on the notification bell icon to keep you notified every time I post a new video. So that's it you guys and see you in my next video. Bye! Love you!